South Sudan President Salva Kiir and his sacked former Vice President Riek Machar are in a disabab to bring an end to war in the world's youngest nation. Speaking to NTV, the ambassador of South Sudan to Uganda, Samuel Luat, said the developments yeah, yeah, are continuation yeah, yeah, yeah. of the peace process. We as a government will go to this peace process without preconditions. The extraordinary session of the IGAD Assembly of Heads of State and Government focuses on ways of improving peace and security in the six East African bloc devoted to boosting political and economic cooperation. Participants will also strive to come up with solutions for resolving the conflict in South Sudan as well as security threats posed by Somali-based Islamist insurgent group Al-Shabaab. IGAT Mediators Committee will also sit down with the President Salva Kiir and Riyak Mashar to see a way forward as to ending of this crisis in South Sudan. Rebel leader Machar is championing a transitional government followed by a general election and the implementation of a federal system to solve the crisis of governance and distribution of wealth and power in South Sudan. These demands have so far been rejected by the government of South Sudan. What he wanted to do is, of course, it is clear that Riyak Machar wanted leadership of the Republic of South Sudan. <laughs> The question of presence of Uganda's People's Defense Forces in South Sudan is likely to feature. Those loyal to President Salva Kiir, Adbid Dr. Machar, has been opposed to Uganda's army presence in South Sudan since violence erupted on the 15th of December 2013. You know, uh, we do not want to see a vacuum because the Igat forces have said, the Igat Congress have said that they will send in a protected you know, uh, uh, unit to South Sudan as well as a deterrent unit to South Sudan. The government of South Sudan have said clearly that as IGAT have agreed to bring in this people of South Sudan to make sure that peace is monitored in South Sudan. The violence which broke out in mid-December last year has forced more than 1.3 people, including half a million of children, to flee from their homes. Aid agencies say over half of South Sudan's population are at the risk of starvation and 223,000 children could face acute malnutrition, while 50,000 of these children may not survive. Maurice Achol, NTV.